All right, today I'm going to show you how to create a projector effect for your scene. So open up Blender if you haven't already. Got your default cube here. Go into front view and go into edit mode and scale this along the z-axis. After you've done that, we're going to add in two loop cuts along the z-axis and the x-axis. So hold down control and hit R, get the purple line, screw up with your middle mouse wheel until you get two lines. And then push down your middle mouse so you acknowledge it. And scale this along the x axis. And then do control R again. And now this time, make sure you get the purple line across the x axis. Scroll up for two. Middle mouse, hit S, scale, and Z, scale along the z axis. And now hit E to extrude. Right click, and then hit S. Shift Z to scale along everything but the Z axis. That's good for me. Select this vertices and this group of vertices. Hit S Z. We're just creating the projector right now. Just give it a little bit of a look to it at least. So it's not so plain. Hit tab to go in object mode. Hit space add circle. Change it to 12. And select fill. Hit OK. Go in edit mode. Rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees. Scale it down. Oh. Go into side dividing 3. Grab it along the y-axis. So G, Y. Go back to front view by hitting 1 on your numpad. Select this outer loop by holding down Alt and right click on the edge. After that, we're going to hit E to extrude. Size it up, E to extrude, and grab it along the Y, E to extrude, size it up, E to extrude, along the Y again, then E to extrude, size it down, E to extrude, the Y, E to extrude, size it up, E to extrude, along the Y, E to extrude, along the Y, and extrude one more time. And select everything and scale it down some. That's good. Enough for me at least. This is our lens. And we're not going to add any materials to this because you won't really see it that much. So, place it wherever you want. I place mine on the side a little bit just because some projectors have theirs located on the side rather than the center. And we're going to add in two more objects. We're going to add an empty, space add, empty, grab it out on Y, G, Y, and I'm in side view right now, hit R, X, 9, 0, then R, Z, 180, so our Z axis is pointing on the Y, or the actual empty Z axis is pointing on the 3D realm's Y axis. After that, we're going to add in a plane, so hit a, add, mesh, plane, go into edit mode, R, X, 9, 0, to rotate it on the X axis of 90 degrees, size it up, go back to object mode, grab it along the Y axis, it's good enough for me, and go to textures, hit add new, go to the shading tab, turn the specularity down, and go to texture buttons, which is F6, add new, make sure it's an image, load your image that you want to be projected on the screen. Mine is on my desktop, it's of a uh, old movie reel, the number seven as if it was counting down, you can see right here. And make sure it's on clip, and then go back to the shading, I mean materials buttons, which is the red ball, and go to map input, and hit object, and type in empty because we want it to be based off of our empty. So after that, okay, well, I'll just show you what this effect did. Since we based off our empty, it shoots off of the z axis of the empty. So, and it's affecting this plane, so it's going to shoot onto here. So, grab your camera and rotate it to where it can actually see.
so you can actually see its effect. Okay, see? You've got it actually projecting on there. But that looks a little plain. So, go into your world buttons, which is this little earth here, and change that to black just to get rid of that ugly blue. And we're actually going to add in another light, space, space, add, lamp, and spot, hit RX90 negative to rotate it on the X axis negative 90 degrees and make sure it's pointing at the plane. When I select halo, make sure it protects, project the halo and turn down our halo intensity quite a bit. I'm going to make it pretty low. That way it's just really faded light. Point one. Or just try to get as close to, uh, I guess, point one nine eight is fine. Okay, render that again. F12. Okay, you can see the light hitting on there. And currently, that light is really close, and it's kind of ugly right now. So... I'm going to take my plane, grab along the Y a little bit more, and grab your empty and S to scale it up. Render it again. There you go. It's a little bit better. Now we've got our images actually being affected by our empty, as you can see, because we scaled it. And we're actually almost there. Scale it up a little bit more. Render it again. And to me, that's it's pretty good. I like that. It's pretty decent. I'm going to go into the world buttons by clicking that earth again. Click on ambient occlusion and click that button. Now, set up your camera however you'd like. I'm going to reset its location and grab. So alt, if you want to follow along, Alt R, clear rotation, Alt G, clear grab. Hit R, X, 9, 0 to rotate on X axis 90. RZ90. Going to go top view. Just move your camera on to where you like it. Right there is good for me. And let's render this. As you can see, the light's actually coming out of the projecting, projector's lens. So you get that little light effect. The quality's a little bad on here since it's YouTube, but you get the idea. And that's how you create a little projector effect in Blender. If you've got any questions, uh, feel free to go to forum.stick.com. And there is a section for Blender, work some projects, finish projects if you want to show off your works or get some help on your work. Or if you just got a question, you can go into general and ask. And uh, the creator of the forum, Super3Boy, he's on here and he checks up on it every now and then. We've got some mods on here, Yoda Man and Gabriel, and the, they tend to help out a lot as well with some feedback. There's also just some different topics on here for chit-chatting. But I'm on here as well, and uh, my name's Penumbra. And if you've got a question about this particular tutorial, you can feel free to go on there and ask me, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it helped you out some. So, um, good luck with your Blender projects, and that's it.